Leia Jansen ready to patrol the middle. Let's play pickleball. Look at this ball come over. If that comes over too, you're kidding me. All right. Good start for Jansen and Jones. A lot of fun there. Zero, zero, one. Point. A little inside out yeah. and then cross court winner from Jones. Great little disguise on that forehand. better start than their match Ooh, against yes. Tereshenko and Dizan. Indeed, up two. Perfect attack from Etta right there. Two, zero, two. And there's Leia Jansen. She of course, has already snuck into Sunday with a singles victory to get there. She's going to square off with Catherine Parento, so she's already got a ticket. Would love another chance. You see Leia Jansen, everybody else being a little careful yep. on the opportunities, Matt. Leia going after it early and also staying in front of the ball, going to the middle, covering that speed up. Oh, indecision there. Rich Keena saw it clearly, though, <laughs> so uh, Etta was close to playing that, but uh, looks like there's some uh, blue on either side yep. of the ball there. So good job. That's you do have a job when it's not hit to you as a doubles partner. And there's a flying at a right. <laughs> Great drive from Gretzkina. Yep. Set up by that low drive. So hard to do anything with that, but pop it up. One, four, one. Beautiful effortless movement when you have tennis players on the court they're used to a cross and filling in behind it great recognition early in that rally by Etta Wright. Announcer's curse. <laughs> two four two here. I like I liked Gretchkin on that left side yeah. moving around the backhand doing a lot of work with that forehand dink. Swinging two-handed backhand from Gretsch Kina, and after being down early, they're within one. Three, four, two. speeds it up and we are tied up at four. Great speed up there. Ball sitting in the kitchen up and down. Four, four, Has two. time to make a decision. At a right from Utah, part of the Moms Club with uh, Lise Jones. Mommy's home, yes, not daddy's exactly. home, and they can actually mean it. <laughs> they mean it. <laughs> four, four, one. Oh, my, what a 
got from Leia Jansen. The thing she robbed us of, of Elise Jones, would have dove for that in a heartbeat. <laughs> so uh, she'll have to save that for later. I have a feeling we'll see that yes. plenty. Double miscommunication, but uh, they got out of it. Oh, now Gretchkina wants to call it wide. This is a really tough inside out. Boy, that's close. Guaranteed rate sign a little bit. I probably would have called it wide yeah. from, my, from the angle that we've seen on camera there. Yeah, it looked like there was blue on both mm -hmm. sides of the ball there, but it's played in. Good reach in there from Leia Jansen. The way she holds her grip, most of those speed ups will have a lot of top spin on them, not a lot of power. So they will go a little bit higher. And a freebie from right, and it is now a three point advantage for Jansen and Jones. Leia, one of many that have made their way to Austin, Texas. Uh oh. And two freebies in a row. We might want to time out here, ladies, but they're going to play through it. And they dig through that, and this has got to be a timeout. 9-4, but they are not going to do it here, Matt. Sometimes a new <laughs> team. Nine, four, two. No one wants to be the leader no and say, let's be, yeah. take a timeout. We'll defer, and they both <laughs> defer not Double to. defers is not ideal. Point. And another mistake, and we are at game point very quickly with lots of gifts. Ten, four, two. Oh, and didn't Point even eight, recognize eight, the eight. switch call. So discombobulated are the six seed here. Wide open shot. Leah Jansen saw it, and if they're going to give it to you, you just take it. Just Sunday on the line. It. Jones and Jansen up one. Absolutely. Christmas came early. Yeah. Much better swing from <laughs> Meta right. Probably an ill advised speed up there from Leah Jansen for him. Really low through the middle and speeding up cross court. Instead of right, just a half second behind in the middle of the court there, Matt. Yep. Wow. Ooh, just deep from Etta Wright uh, gets that. Confirmed, man, a wicked little. It's hard to hit a two handed backhand roll within your same half of the court. At least Jones found that. Second serve. There's the shot before. Really close. Hard to see. Again, don't ask me, Dave. Okay, I won't. Turn just sneaks over. And that lob way too short from Gretchkina. 
Yeah, normally when you want to hit a lob, you want to have your body weight on the front foot. Yes. Leaning in One, there zero, off two. the back foot, came up just short. Yes, yeah, sent the uh, dinner reservation uh, <laughs> with her body language. There's a nice ball. That's one thing Etta Wright has better yeah. than almost all the ladies, be able to reach in with one hand. So effective. Zero, one, one. Let's get a look at Yana Gretschkina. Like Just can't find any rhythm here. Zero, one, two. Two-handed backhand drive, and Jones sends that deep, so tied at one. At a right. Great little two-handed roll dink there from Leah Jansen. That ball hits the ground, is really pulling you off the court. One, one, one. If you're not balanced, <laughs> the result is what you saw yeah. there. And we know the ball is not coming up off this court surface as it has from others, so that makes it even more effective. You see Gretsch Keenan and Wright choose to not switch when returning. We'll see if they stick with that. They, they will not. They're always one. expecting the speed up. Yep. And always yep. adjust to something. Absolutely. Sit on the fastball. And there's the problem if you're trying to switch. You want to hit a better return. So a little bit of a mess here so far for Gretsch Keenan and Wright coming off a big victory in the quarters. It's a nice ball, so if they can stack just a couple, even two good holds here. Ball's up. Leah Jansen <laughs> loves it and doesn't try to do too much. A smart placement over power. 4-1 Jansen and Jones. There's the power of Etta Wright. And a little frustration yes. taken out on that ball. This match so far, not really about strategy, but more about oh. execution. One, four, one. Wright, Gretschkina just leaving too, too many balls up, too many mistakes. Exhibit L there. <laughs> one, four, two. Just too much whip from that. No doubles alley in pickleball. So Jones and Jansen, very smart, just keep making balls, take advantage. And not sure. I think we end up with an out call here, but it was not definitive. Yeah, it looks four, out. One, that is the call. So four one two. Yikes. Like you said, Jansen and Jones just playing five, conservative, one, putting the ball in play. Allowing Gretsch Keenan Wright to self-destruct here yeah. a little bit. I mean, some teams want to do showtime. That's this is not the time for it. That's a big swing from Gretsch Keenan. Okay. You know, there were a couple of points where Gretsch Keenan played the left and that was interesting. Mm -hmm. They have not chosen to go back to that. Again, the body weight moving back there as she's trying to speed that ball up. One by two. Side out. 
just too many errors. So can they somehow slow this down and just make them work a little harder? 5-1. And there we go. So the best point of the day for Wright and Gretschkina. Way more patience there, moving the ball around the kitchen line, not opting to speed it up too early, waiting for the right opportunity. And there you go. A little momentum here, hopefully, for the two underdogs here. Jansen who says if it's up and on my backhand, I'm gonna attack. 6-1. Yeah, I'd like to see them think more two. through the middle. They've had some success doing that, lengthening the rallies that way. Thousand by one, March 22nd. Every eligible entrance gets a free grounds pass to a PPA event. Come on, sign up. Don't miss any of the action. I'm subscribed. As am I. Gotta be. Again, just when you haven't seen somebody lob, it's you're running out of choices. That's right. Just like the last match. Yep. Stay within Number what one, brought two. you there. Jones firing forward, and we haven't needed to see the fiery type of her because they have been very smart. Let the other side miss. When you get one, finally, fire away, and this runaway is continuing. Now they got Gretchkina on the left. And that's too high, and it is just the wheels have completely come off. But I like Jones sensing the occasion, the moment. Yeah. Couple points from the finish line, pouring it on, not giving the opponents a chance to breathe here. Two points away from Sunday. Nice yeah. job of being ready from Gretschkina. And way better dinking there through the middle. Even when they did change line, it wasn't to the outside of Jansen, more towards that middle, that right foot. Okay, good reply there, Yana Gretschkina. You get the ball, you can keep it. There's no rule that says you have to give it back, but big mountain to climb. Jansen just not going to let them get a stack of points on her watch. Yeah, I like Wright going towards the middle with the dink, but once she goes there once, then look to move them. Job there, giving herself some space, moving a foot or two off that kitchen line. Oh no! At a right, bailed. 
and that's probably a ball she needs to take and go for it would have been just yep. fine. That might be the nail in the coffin there. A little momentum leaving that ball through the middle. And then a clean winner that <laughs> bounces seven steps before it gets to the fans. Just caught the outside edge there, so gotta have a hold here. Nine, four, two. Right out. Okay. Got three last time. Yeah. Four, Just keep nine, shrinking one. the lead little by little. Four, and we're going to get a timeout from the team that was up 11 4 9 1. Yep. And I think they need to regroup here, get back to what was working. Nice little comeback here from Gretsch Keena and Wright. The problem is the mountain was huge, so can they keep it going? And Leia Jansen says, not on my watch right here. Very aggressive. And I like that. No indecision that time, no hesitation. I'm going to cover the middle. It's my ball. Great result. Let's bounce it off the tape twice. Now, usually people spaz out when that happens, Matt. Yeah, I've I do I've, it. I've done it. Seen it plenty on the rec courts. But you got to stay calm with the body, quiet with the body. Let the hands do the work. Nine, five, so good timeout from these two. Shows you even if you're up four, taking the timeout can pay big dividends. There's a nice attack from Etta Wright. Jansen upset with the height and location of that tank. Second chance to get to 10. Rally of game two goes to Gretsch, Kina, and Wright. Okay. Really good patience there from all four ladies. A lot of opportunities to speed up. Very cat and mouse point there. Just can't quite make the fifth. Five, nine, two. Goodness. <laughs> you don't see a pro miss that no. ball too often. John Isner in Washington, his first pro event ever. I saw an overhead miss similar to that. Oh my, and now a miss return, so it carries over. Is I love you, baby. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> Seven, nine, two. Seven, nine. This is getting very interesting. And that stays in. Are we at 8-9? I think they called that in. They did indeed. Here comes the ball back. And being down 9-1 after getting run over in game one. Here we go. Jansen and Jones switch. And we are tied at nine. What resiliency from Gretsch, Kina, and Wright, and Jansen and Jones are having to call a second timeout. We're tied in game number two. This is unbelievable. Nine apiece. I don't even know how we got here. Uh, 
Oh my, and after all that, a ball off the tape is what stops the rampage. So, it is Jansen and Jones who have been sitting on nine forever, now have to settle in and finish off this match. Can they do it? Just need one point first. Yes. Tremendous rally, and Gretsch Kina comes up just short. Jones with the beautiful lob midpoint. Yes. And we from have the line a match there. point from 9-1 to 9-9, but they're now up. And that sails deep, so a tremendous <laughs> comeback from Etta Wright and Yana Gretschkina, but just too big a hole by just yep. two points. Just a little, too little, too late, yes. as they say. They really did a great job of holding their composure, holding their fight coming back, but just too big of a deficit ultimately to call back from. Yeah, so I'm glad we got to see some of their best stuff as the match wore on in game two, but uh, just couldn't quite get there in that Net court at 992 when they were serving might have been the difference, but Leia Jansen and Elise Jones are back on Sunday, and Leia Jansen will play twice, as will James Ignatowicz, as will Catherine Parento. So three players have a shot for two crowns. We'll talk to the winners after this. Well, we thought we were going to have Jansen and Jones just in cruise control down the highway here on Highway 1. And then all of a sudden at 9-1, things got very, very shaky, but they were able to finish it off 11-9. Liv Borski standing by with the winners. Welcome back to center court, where I have Elise Jones and Leah Jansen that just secured their spot in the finals for this Sunday. Elise, I'm going to start with you. How important is chemistry on court? Because you and Leah have such great chemistry. It's very important, especially coming from a volleyball background, and I was big on team sports. Obviously, the team that connected the most always was the most successful. And if you can tell, everyone, me and Leah have the same energy, and it's a blast to play with. So I don't know how many times you see us yelling at each other and just stoked for the success that our partner does. Leah, I noticed at the match that you would switch it up from a one-handed to two-handed backhand. What was your strategy behind that? Um, well, I mean, I've been trying to develop a two-handed backhand after playing with Anna Lee at MLP. I saw a lot of the benefit of a two-hander, so I've just kind of been playing around. But the one-hander is my forte, so maybe eventually we'll just see all two, but right now it's just a hybrid. Elise, like you said, you have a volleyball background and you dive all around the court to get those amazing saves. How hard was it to transition from volleyball of just using your hands to pickleball with the extension of your hand and the paddle? Well, uh, mainly the transition has been like reading. I'm really good at reading because that's what you do in volleyball of where that ball is going to be. Um, but it's transferred really well with me and Leah. Leah's mom comes from a volleyball background. She's a volleyball coach. And so that's why our chemistry is so good too because she understands team and it's been great for us. Thanks so much, guys. Congratulations. See you on Sunday. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.